Thanks for joining us today for our math lesson. Everyone say hello. 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 We'll begin with our meditation. That's right. Two fingers to find our heart center. Left hand in our lap and close your eyes. Feel for boom, boom in your heart center. Move your right hand into your lap. Let's end our meditation with three breaths together. One, two, and our last one, three. Slowly start to wiggle your toes. Slowly start to wiggle your fingers. Slowly open your eyes. And let's begin our math lesson. In this lesson, we're going to be reviewing division. So we'll do a little practice together at the board. And then we're gonna spend the rest of the class doing some of our flashcard and worksheets that we've done before. We'll just revisit them again. We've corrected a few from our last few classes. And then we're gonna do some individualized worksheets with different, or flashcards, with different skill levels. So different students that need to work on different things will be getting different sets of flashcards so that everyone can work on their own, at their own level, and at their own pace. So let's begin with some of our division facts. We're gonna have some division problems, but we're also gonna try to think what kind of multiplication problems we can use to make those a little bit easier for us instead of thinking about division. So if we have 36 divided by 6, and we're trying to think of our answer, sometimes it helps us if we can switch that into a multiplication problem and think 6 times what number? is going to equal 36, our biggest number, okay? You got it? Okay, so if you've got it, let's count to three. One, two, three. Six, very nice. 36 divided by six equals six. 
that's a little tricky, then we can just think about turning that into a multiplication problem. Our biggest number is going to be our answer. And then we have our other numbers there. So let's try this one. 48 divided by 6 equals what? Or we can change that around to think 6 times what gives us 48? Okay, 1, 2, 3, 8. Good job, friends. That's exactly right. We have 8 is our answer. But if that's a little tricky, and sometimes division can be tricky, we just switch that around to make a multiplication problem with our biggest number last. So let's do a couple more together, and then we're going to give some friends a chance to come on up and try on their own. 56 divided by 7. Hmm. How can I turn this into a multiplication problem? Can you raise your hand and tell me? How can we turn this into a multiplication problem? write this to be with times? How would we write this to be with times? Good. We just switch our numbers around. We seven times what equals 56. We take our biggest number. Instead of being first, it's last. And we look for our missing number here. Okay, you guys got it? Got it. Got it? One, two, three. Eight. Good, it's eight. It is eight. You are right. <laughs> 63 divided by seven. How can we write this to be times? That's exactly right. Seven times what? Good, I'm glad. Wonderful, friends. Okay, one, two, three, nine. We didn't wait till three, but that's cool. Okay, we're gonna have some friends come up and help us out at the board. So let's try a few more. Let's do 27 divided by three. We'll do a couple so that we can have a few friends come up. And <laughs> okay, friends, we're going to have some volunteers come up and help us. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to just write it as times, okay? You're just Let's have one, two, three, come on. <laughs> okay, so how do you write this? With multiplication, that's the first thing we want to think about. Just mm -hmm, with times, so you're just gonna write it with multiplication. So all you have to do is times, just like we did before. We're gonna think of our biggest number last, and we're going to have our missing number that we're trying to look for. Mm -hmm, looking good. Mm -hmm. All right, we're looking good. We've got our biggest number in the answer. Very nice job. All right, thank you, friends. So 27 divided by 3 equals something. We change that into what? <laughs> what do we change this to? No. Three. Times. Three. Something. Or three times what? Equals. Twenty-seven. That's cool. Good job. Very nice. Um, you can you can head back. You can head back. We'll have someone else. We'll take more turns. We'll take more turns. Okay, just tell us what you did. You don't have to solve for it. Seven times what equals 49. Great job, friend. Okay, it's cool. You don't have to erase. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Tell us what you did. Tell us what you did. 
Anyone? Anyone divided by nine equals nine. Good. And how did you change this to be times multiplication? Beautiful. Okay. Who knows the answers to these ones? Who knows the answers? Okay, now to your prowl. Come on up. Come on up. Give us some answers. Give us some answers. So we're looking for our missing number. When we turn it into multiplication, we're just thinking about our missing number, so it's a little easier. Are you sure? Not three. <laughs> there you go. What number is that? Nine. Nine. There we go. That looks great. So that's our missing number. Pro, what's your missing number? Seven. Seven. So we had seven times seven equals 49. 3 times 9 equals 27. Very nice job. Okay. Okay, pot, pack, boom. And okay, pong pong, come on up. Can you finish erasing that? Okay, excuse me, friends. Scoot over a little bit. Or go down there. All right. <laughs> Stand up. Okay. All you need to do is turn this into a multiplication problem. Turn this into a multiplication problem. Okay, you can come up and give us our answer. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, very nice. Good work, buddy. So we had 35 divided by 7 equals some number. How did you change this? What did you write? What did you write here? 7 plus times. Nice job, okay. So someone else can solve for it. You're all finished. You're all finished, friends. You're all finished. You can head back to your desk. Okay, girls, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, friends. If you're coming up second, stay over here, please. Stay over here, stay over here. Okay, pot, come back. We have six, pot, come here. 63 divided by nine equals what? Nine to one. Nine times. Thank you. There we go. Nine times. What? Equals. Sixty-three. Great job. Okay, Pak Boom, tell us what you did here. Forty-two divided by six. Blank. Equals what? Blank. Six. Very nice. Okay, girls. Got our answers for us? <laughs> Great job. What's our missing number? Seven. Very nice. Good work. <laughs> Great job. What's our missing number over there? Seven? Are you sure? Double check. <laughs> Seven times what gives us 35? Hmm, seven times what gives us 35? <laughs> okay, bro, what's our missing number over here? Seven. Seven. <laughs> Two seven. Nope, that's cool. It's going to end in five. Let's, let's think about it. Friends, can you help out Lacko? Five. Can you help her out? Five. What's our missing number? Five. Five, there you go. Great job, just change that seven up. 
<laughs> Wonderful job. All right. Thank you, friend. Great job. All right, guys. So we are going to do a little bit more practice. This time you're going to be doing it all on your own. Okay, we're going to do some more division problems. We're going to do it a little bit differently this time. We're still going to have our division problem, like we'll use the last one we had for our example. But we're going to try to think about it this time with playing our close game. So 35 divided by 6. Hmm. So how do we do that? How do we do this when we have to get as close as we can without going over? What are we going to count by? Count by 6. How do we know it's 6? By 6. Yeah, because we see divided by 6. So that's how we know we're going to count by 6. Right. Are you ready? Six. Six. Twelve. Eight, eight, Eighteen. Twenty. One. Four. Four. Twenty-four. Thirty. Thirty. Thirty-six. 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 Yeah, thirty-six is too high, so we're going to go back to thirty. And we stopped at how many? Five. Five. So we put or our... Five. Or five. Or five. Or five. Or five. Let's see. Five. Let's five. see. Five. Why is it five? It's 30. Mm -hmm. We stopped at 30. So we have 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. You're right, friends. It's five R. Five R five. Very nice work. Very nice work. Let's do another practice one. Let's do thirty-eight <coughs> divided by eight. So thirty-eight's our number that we want to get close to, but not go too high. And what are we going to count by? What number will we count by? We're going to count by eight. Here we go. Help me out. Eight. Sixteen. 16 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. And think about our R. We need to count. We stopped at 32. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. So it is six. Very nice job, friends. Great job. OK, we're going to have some friends come up and help us. Let's have some friends come on up and help us. Let's do 61. Divided by eight. Okay, do you want to come and help us do this one, Pacquo? Okay, come on up. So what are you going to count by? Eight. Eight. Why? Mm -hmm, because we've got divided by eight. And you're going to go as close as you can to 61 without going higher. 16, 24. Great. 32, 40. Good. 48. Yeah. 48. You're good. You got it. 56. Good. You're doing stop. great. And we're going to stop right there. Okay, how many fingers do you have? Seven. Seven. Can you write for us? Seven. Very nice. And our R. R. So what number did we stop at? 56. 56, so 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 5. All right, very nice work. Good job. That's exactly how we do it, friends. Thank you. We're going to count by eights because it's divided by eight. We're going to get as close as we can to 61. And then we're going to stop and count on our fingers the rest of the way to 61, which will give us our remainder. Okay, come on up. Come on up and show us. Come on up. Let's do... 46. Can you do sevens? No. Count by sevens? No. We'll help you out if not, okay? So we're going to go as close to 46 as we can, but not too high. 
Can you count together? Let's do it. Seven. Seven. Fourteen. Fourteen. Twenty-one. Very nice. Twenty-eight. Good. Twenty-three. Thirty. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. <laughs> Help her out, friends, if you've got it. <laughs> Forty-two. And stop. Now we're gonna stop. How many fingers do you have? Six. Six, okay. So we stopped at 42 because we don't want to go over. And our remainder, we're gonna count from 42 all the way up to 46. We stopped at what number? 40. 42, so we're going to count up to 46. 43. How many? Four. Four. Very nice job. Okay, friends. Great work. Great work. So that's how we solve these problems. We look at what number we're going to count by. Our big number is what we're trying to get as close as we can to without going too high. Then we're going to stop. And we're going to count by one. So all the way. <laughs> so let's do, hmm, let's do 45, that's our big number. Okay, so we're getting as close as we can to 45, but not higher. We're going to count by six. Can you count out loud for us? You can do it. I'll help you if not. You can do it. You can do it. Six. Good. Turn. 12, 20, 12, 18, <laughs> it's okay, you got it, I'm really, 18, 25, 24, 24, you're doing great, 30, 30, 36, 42. 42. Stop. Okay, good. We're going to stop there. Why are we going to stop there? <coughs> yeah, we don't want to go higher. Here you go. So how many fingers do we have? Seven. Seven. And we stopped at 42. Um. So count up to 45 for us. So we stopped at 42. <laughs> Three. Good. So 43, 44, 45. Very nice work. Very nice work. Okay, we'll do one more. Okay, come on up. Come on up. Let's do 37. Okay, we'll do it by fives. <laughs> Can you count for us by fives? We're going to count by fives. We're going to get as close to 37 as we can, but not higher. Go for it. And we're going to stop. All right, we're going to stop there. How many do you have? Seven. 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 Okay, great job. Seven. And our remainders. <laughs> How many are left? We're at 35 is where we stopped. So we need to count to 37. Two. Two. Great job. Very nice work, my friends. You did a wonderful job. Okay. Very good. So we're going to take a little stretch break. And then we're going to get some more practice with this at our desks for our worksheets and our flashcards. So let's take a little stretch break right now and move our bodies. Everybody stand up and put your arms up high over your head. Good job. Put your arms in a T. Touch your toes. Not your nose. Come up halfway. Swing your arms. Pretend they're very heavy. 
<laughs> okay, let's do it again. Stand up nice and tall. Stand up nice and tall. Do a jump. Everybody stand up nice and tall. Do a jump. Good job. Put your arms up high. Stretch out all your fingers. Put your arms in a T. And ta ta, touch your toes. Touch your toes. Come up halfway and swing your arms like they're heavy. Very nice. Okay. Good job, friends. Stand up nice and tall. Stand up nice and tall. Let's try to balance. Stand on one leg. Stand on one leg. You can put your knee across in front or behind. If you can balance like that, you can put your arms out a little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you can swim or fly or whatever you like. Okay, good job, friends. Switch legs, switch legs. Stand on your other leg. Stand on your other leg. Put your leg in front or behind. Try to balance. Okay. Try to balance a little bit. <laughs> Good job, friends. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, stand on two legs. Stand on two legs. <laughs> stand on two legs. Let's do three little claps. Three little jumps. Three little steps. <laughs> Three little spins. <laughs> Very nice. Let's do three big claps. Let's do three big jumps. How high can you jump? <laughs> Take three big steps. And three big spins. Three big spins. You can spin around. You can spin your arm, whatever you want to do. All right, we're nice and dizzy. Everybody take a seat. <laughs> so for the last part of our lesson, we'll be working on some flashcards individually. And we've got a couple different flashcards to work on. We're also going to take a look at our um, worksheet from lesson 118. So if you have some mistakes, that's cool. Don't worry about it. You're going to have some time to fix the mistakes. You can raise your hand or ask a neighbor if you need help. So if you get your worksheet back, you're going to need to fix some things. And then we also have some other flashcards. Now everybody's going to get different kinds of flashcards. So you're just going to work on the kind that you get. OK? You're just going to work on the kind that you get. And then you might get a different kind. But for now, just start with the kind that you're going to get in your hand. OK? So you're going to start working on your flashcards. Everybody's got a different kind. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Me, drawing. Me, drawing. Okay, you're going to get some of these kind, my friend. Because some of these are the same, that's why I'm passing them. Okay, so start with those. Start with those. Here's some flashcards, and then also you're gonna get some, get your papers back as well. So if you have some, it's cool. Don't worry, that's why we're gonna fix them. We're gonna work on them. So there's a couple that you're so, so close. We just need to look at the numbers again. Oh, we're gonna take a look at a couple of these, okay, my friend? That's cool, we'll fix it, don't worry. What's up? Very nice. Good yeah. work, buddy. High five. Very good job. OK. So let's take a look at some of these over here. That's cool. It's fine. Um, you got them all right, friend. You, you, did, you got them all right? Mm -hmm. So you don't have them. <laughs> OK. So let's look at this one first before we do our flashcards. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Do you see what it is? Nope. So let's count by what number? Are we going to count five. by? Five. OK, let's go. Five. five. Ten. Ten. 
15. Good. 20. 25. 25. What number are we looking for? 25. So how many do we have? Five. Five. We don't need any remainders for that. No remainders. Yeah, so no remainders. Erase that remainder part. Erase that remainder part. Mm -hmm. It's just five. Okay. Okay, let's count by... Let's count by fives. Let's count by fives for this one. What, what are we going to? Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. Good. Awesome. Thirty. Thirty. Good. What number are we looking for? Thirty-five. Thirty-five. How many do we have? Seven. Seven. Borrow your eraser. Oh. Thank you very much. Here we go. So, Pat, let's keep looking at these ones, bud. Hold on, before you do these, let's finish up these. So, 32, what are we counting by? Five fives, let's go. 15. Pang Pang, come get some more. 30. Five. Where are we going to? Meet it. 30. Thank you. So 30. 30. 32. So we're going to stop here because we don't want to go higher. If we keep counting by fives. Six. Hold on. Let's think about this. So let's count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. What would be our next one? 35. 35. Is that higher than 32? Yeah. Yeah, so we're not going to go there. So we're going to stay at what number? 30. Mm -hmm. 30, which is 6. So go ahead and change that up. Here, you can borrow naughty ears or Okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. Okay, so we stopped at 30 with what number? How many? Six. Six. So now we need to count to 32 for our remainder. Uh, one. Let's see. 30, 31, 32. How many is that? Two. R2. two. There you go. Okay, can you try try these ones? So go ahead and erase and then give those a shot. Okay. Okay, no, just no. take a couple, just take a couple. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's take a look at your paper, bud. Let's take a look at your paper. Finish. You got those? Okay. Um, you can do a few more of those. Yeah. And then we're going to take a look at your paper. How'd you guys do over here? Did you get these? Can you take a look at these? <laughs> okay, let's take a look at these. At these ones. It's cool. It's okay. That's what we're going to work on. Okay. We can fix it. That's okay. That's cool. Easy. Okay. So what are we going to count by? Four. Four. Very nice. <laughs> Twenty-four. Great. Twenty-eight. Very nice. Two. What number are we looking for? Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. Okay. So I think should we stop there? There's some more over there. Twenty-nine. Okay, so we stopped at what number? 28? Seven. And seven, right? So our seven goes here. Oh, baby. Oh. Mm-hmm. 
because we need to count to 29. So we're at 28 and... All one. All one, there you go, good job. And one more. Okay, we're gonna count by twos. Three more. We're gonna count by twos. Okay, work on this for now. I'm gonna come help you with this in a minute. Work on this for now. We're gonna work on those together. Buddy, work on your cards right now, and then we'll work on this in a minute. Nine. Nine, good. Twelve. Fifteen. What number are we looking for? Fifteen. Fifteen. Five. Five. Oh. So we're at fifteen. Do we have to go any more? Um, no. Nope. So we have three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. That's what we're looking for. So we stop. We don't have any arms. Five. Five. Yep. We just stop right at five. Okay. You got it. Try this one. Count by twos. Count by twos. Okay. Doing okay? Okay, bud. How are you doing? Let's look at this. Okay, let's take a look over here. Nope. Erase. Erase. Okay. Throw her over here. You can grab one. Bang bun. Don't look at her paper. We're going to count together. Erase up here. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to count by what number? <coughs> what number are we going to count by? Three. Three. Okay. Three. Three. Six. Good. Twelve. Nine. Nine. Twelve. Not six. Twelve, fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, what number are we looking for? Fifteen. How many do we have? Five. Five, okay. Do we have to go anywhere else? Mm. No, nope, we're finished. Uh, let's see. Yeah, great job, friend. Great work, great work. One more. Oh, you got some right here. Okay, so erase this, erase that. We're going to count by what numbers? We're going to count by seven? Why are we counting by seven? Why? Okay. Here's some more. Take a balloon. Okay, we're going to count by what number? Five. We're going to count by fives, okay? Five. Good. Ten. Feet. Twenty. Twenty. Mm -hmm. Twenty-five. Take a balloon. Yep. Thirty. Thirty. Thirty-one. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. But we're looking for thirty-two. Is that too many? Okay, stop reading. Listen, listen. Thirty-five. Is that higher than thirty-two? Yeah, so we don't want to go higher. Stop. We don't want to go higher. You don't have to write. Let's just think about it. So let's count again. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. If we go to 35, that's too high. So we're going to stop at 30. Mm-hmm. There you go. Six. Now we have to count to 32. Yes. Very nice job. Okay. Try this one. Is it five? I don't think it's five. Nope. Not five. Six. <laughs> Good job. Did he fix yours, Laco, your, your worksheet? Did he get it? He just had a couple. Did you get them? Very nice. Good job. You got it. You got it. 
<laughs> if we, friends, if we make a mistake, that's cool. Not four. Not four. Draw a picture. Draw a picture. Draw a picture. Draw a picture of 12. Two. On the back. Draw a picture. Draw 12. And then you're going to make some groups. So draw, draw 12 stars. I don't have any more balloons. For, oh, I do. I do. Draw a picture of 12 stars. 12 stars. Draw 12 stars. Draw 12 stars. No, nope. draw 12 stars. One, two, three, or hearts. You're going to draw 12. <laughs> Which way do you think that goes? Does it look like numbers you recognize? <laughs> it is an easy one. You can do it, bud. You can do it. You can do it. This is more or no? What? This. Paper like this. More or no more? Uh, not too many more. Okay. All right. Is that five? Yeah. Look on the front. Is that the number five? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. That's not number five, friend. Yeah. You got the right answer, but it's not five. What number is that? Three. Three. It's three. Good job, friends. Okay. So finish up. One more. No more. So finish up the last couple cards you're working on, friends. Finish your last one. If you are finished, you can put them all together in a nice pile. Make them nice and neat. If you are finished, put them all together in a nice stack. Great job, my friend. <laughs> so if you're all finished, put them together in a nice pile. While our other friends finish up. <laughs> All right, great job, friends. Thanks for joining us for our math lesson. Everybody say goodbye.